Welcome to Making a Sundial with a Paper Plate. I'm Mary, and a librarian at the Rochester Hills Public Library. You will require a paper plate, a protractor, I have two here, ultimately uh, this one's easier to see, but I'll need the smaller one because of the paper plate. You'll also need a pencil, a marker, some small piece of corrugated cardboard. Uh, this is what it will look like when we're done with it. You'll want something a little bit bigger to work with to start with. A straw, just a plain plastic drinking straw. If you don't have one of these, uh, just regular cardboard, we can make that work too. You'll need some adhesive of some sort. I used a hot glue gun. Uh, other kinds of adhesive will work as well. If uh, you have to, tape in a pinch. And let's get started. Grab your paper plate. You're going to want to find the center point and put a line down the middle. Uh, the one nice thing about the paper plates, you can put a little pencil mark and then count your way around the two edges till you meet in the middle. And then you want to draw a line through. If you aren't using a paper plate, maybe just a round piece of uh, cardboard or poster board, you could make a circle out of some paper and fold it in half, and that creates a nice bisected piece of a circle that you could then overlay on your paper plate to get your center points. So then draw your line. Uh, start just with pencil. That's all we need to start with. And then using your protractor, you're going to line up your, your zeros so you can get a nice perpendicular line across the bottom. I did aim for the point in which the paper plate is stamped flat and then starts to curve up because everything's going to work off of this point here. So once you get that cross piece in at a right angle and that vertical, we can continue. Ultimately, this is going to become your 12 o'clock hour and these two points will be your 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. But we've got to get the rest of the numbers in. We'll be working as you can see, on a half circle. If you remember your basic geometry, a half circle is 180 degrees. We're going to be subdividing that by 12 hours, so that will give you 15 degree marks. So we will take our protractor, and we're going to again line up our bottom line and top line. And then with a pencil, we're going to go and make a little tick mark at the 15 degree increments all the way down, and then we're going to finish those lines. And you, you know, something you can see with, uh, I used a black marker, if you want it to be more colorful you could pick a different color, but you're going to just do a straight line, and again I sort of aimed for that point at which the paper plate starts to curve up a little bit, and did, did my lines, and again 12 o'clock, this is going to become your 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 5 is a little short in there. And in the other direction, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And at this point in time, you may go ahead and put those numbers in. So I'm going to do that really quickly, or maybe I won't. <laughs> The next step is creating that piece that sticks up that actually casts the shadow on one of those hour lines. And depending on where you are, depends on how, what the angle of that line is going to be. I happen to be sitting at about 42.5 degrees latitude, so that's the angle I want. And I took a piece of corrugated cardboard, made sure I had a nice... Uh, had a nice right angle so that this angle could be 42 and a half degrees. And of course, how did I do that? Again, I used my protractor to create my angle. So it'd be, how about if I reverse it a little bit like that? That looks better. So 42 and a half degrees, and that's uh, the angle I need. And here's where my drinking straw comes in. I actually uh, line that up a little bit and let the end of the straw go beyond 
the cardboard. Make sure you're aligning it on your slope. Now you've already used your scissors when you cut your cardboard out with your right angle and your 42 and a half degrees. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to just make sure that the uh, straw has a very similar angle. Obviously we're not doing this as rocket science, so it's going to be as close as we can get. And I'm just going to cut that kind of just like that. And there we go. Pretty close. Next, we're going to glue the two together, which I have actually already done. And that piece, so that is right here. So this one is ready to hot glue onto our, this is actually called a table when you're speaking about uh, sundials, you know, it's like a clock face, only because you're in this orientation, it's called a table. Now, when you place this, and you're going to want to glue this down also, you want that top edge of the straw to be right at the point that all your radiating lines come from, and you're going to follow that noon line right on up. So it's going to be just like that. And your front edge is going to be as close to your dot down there as you can. Well, if you don't have that straw, you can use just a regular piece of cardboard. You want something sturdy so a piece of paper is not going to work. Again, you're going to use your protractor and you're going to create that 42 and a half degree angle. And then uh, when you place it, again, you're going to get that angle point as close to your radiating lines point and following that noon line again, that vertical line. But this is where it's going to get a little trickier because it's a little flip floppier and when you do get it taped down or glued you want to try to make sure it's at a right angle to the base of your table. Otherwise you'll get an inaccurate reading. So you want that as vertical to 90 degrees as you can now I did finish gluing and numbering the, uh, what it's going to be looking like for you, but of course when you have it sitting outside it's going to be as close to level as you can. But uh, how do you orient it to actually kind of work pretty closely for you? You could wait for either the uh, spring equinox or the autumnal equinox, wait till noon, Go outside and lay this flat and then just keep turning it until your shadow is cast over your noon hour. But you don't really want to wait that long. So you can also do it with a compass. I do happen to have a little tiny one, which works just as well. So when I go outside, because I want to be a sunny day too, Make sure it's orienting north. That little line's going to bob around, and you want to rotate it till it faces north. And then you want to make your sundial match that same orientation. Oh, but there's something else you have to keep in mind. Compasses point to magnetic north, which is not geographic north. And that geographic uh, point is the same, no matter what. But that magnetic point can move, and it does. And depending where you are on the globe, it could be zero, and the two could actually be matching each other, or it could be as much as 20 degrees apart. As it happens, I double-checked my location, and I am five degrees, or my magnetic north is five degrees west of geographic north. So when I do get this lined up with north, I want to watch my compass, and I'm going to turn that compass five degrees to make up for that little bit of variance. And since I happen to also record this pretty close to the uh, autumnal equinox, and I happen to think, oh, I, maybe I should go outside, it's almost noon, and gave it a try, and by golly, it may not look like it, but this is a pretty accurate sundial. I hope you have fun with it. Thank you for watching.